Hey, what's up, guys? We're back for some more Alice in Wonderland and Cheshire Cat, or I... He's obsessed with time. Find him, or your own time may be short. Am I actually saying that right? Cheshire Cat? Uh, I forget what he's actually called. Uh, but anyways, we're back for some more, and there, you can see he gets his own thing on the wall, too. What a scrub. Anyways, um... Yeah, we're here, and we're queer, and we're trying to go on this. Oh, apparently that's uh, poisonous. I probably should keep that in mind for the future. No! It almost worked. Okay. So, um, smelly water. Let's not go near it. There we get it. What? Come on. I know one of the mechanics I'm supposed to get very soon. There we go, we made it. Victory stab. And some more goodies for us up here. More, mostly teeth. Well, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna save up for the upgrade to the, uh, as I said, the, this knife thing. Because as much as I like doing this thing, uh, I deem it as more useful. Because I'm just, most of this game is centered around melee combat, so figured, you know, a bit of strategical awareness is in order, and actually another thing that's in order is possibly looking around to seeing if there's anything hidden. Well, there's the poo water over there, but we can go over here. That, that's how it is with me. Everything has to be poo something. I'm a, I'm an immature individual, what can I say? It, this is very steampunk. It's just like... I don't know why that's the best thing ever devised. Okay, so this is gonna be a floating platform segment. Invisible floating platform segment. The seg segment. I, I don't have many jokes, I won't lie. I'm gonna just repeat the same stuff over and over again for you guys. But you love it! No, I don't know. <laughs> I'll come up with something new, don't worry. Also, I'm just kidding around. So that opens that. And slowly closes this. Let's go in here first, okay? Because that, that seems like a place of no return. Okay, so it tells you right here, kind of like which, which one is which. So we kind of just have to go like all the way over here. It's not particularly difficult platforming, but it's still yeah. I like it all the same. It's it, you know what? It's it's a good, good change. Not met, not enough three D platformers these days. You could say anything you want about this, but I think it's unique. I think that's everything in that room. Yeah, it's just a bottle. I forget what the bottles do, but I guess we'll find out by the end of the game, or someone in the comments will say. All right. So what if I go on this? We okay. The, the other thing is they're afraid to make games too difficult these days because they're kind of like, well, what about casuals? They'll get frustrated and leave the game, and then we all get disappointed and sigh a little bit. Is this gonna be a slide? Yes, it is. I I oh shit. Angles. The bomb! Okay, yeah, so it's telling you, uh, it's, this is the clockwork bomb. Honestly, not a fabulous device, because it's just, you just kind of throw it, and then you see how she has like a little, like, detonator thing on her? And it, I think it just walks towards something, and then I can blow it up at will. I don't think it does much damage, I forget if it does. I, I recall during my other run of this game, I didn't use it very much. So that's all it does, really. So we're supposed to blow up that. So it does, It does. however, it does, like... It's it's a mechanic to kind of continue on onward kind of thing. It does something you can do. Yeah, I know how to do it. Like, I, I know I'm being condescending to tutorials. Like, I looked at my part one, I'm like... 
God damn, I was, like, every time there's a tutorial, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I know it. Like, I was a condescending as shit, but, you know. But fuck, like, come on, can you blame me right now? I've done it, like, 13 times. It should know by now. I think I understand. So mainly it's if, if you're lazy and you don't want to, you know, actually, uh, work at, uh, at, at opening up stuff, because, you know, knife. That's... I use it for that sometimes. Other times I'm lazy in it. Plus, you know, it lets me, it lets those slugs, like, not attack me anymore, so. So. You got unlimited of those. There's no actual limit. Wait, wait, why is there a house here? Oh, it's right here. I don't think I can actually go in there. I want to go in here. Uh, it's probably around the other way. What the hell? I'm stuck here. Okay. Done. Yeah, I assumed this would be the case. Yeah, that's totally what I meant to do. Whatever, I'm gonna stop using that. And I'll start using it the next time I see one of those stupid slug things. Oh, come on, Alice. We're all roast in our beds, Alice, for the sake of your father's unnatural devotion to printed paper. This horde of flambles wants only a malignant spark and poof! Flesh and blood is smoke and ash. Okay, um, note to self, don't ever fucking tell my kids that. Like, if you want to kill me, that's- this is exactly how. It, uh, the, her parents have no one to blame but themselves. Your, your kid could be psychotic, you never know. Okay, let's go into the burning door of death. lovely library was a fire trap a conflagration waiting to happen well wasn't that fun Alice that was certainly fun oh shit all right well Uh, so when her health becomes low, high story is available. This is actually a really fucking creepy ability. And you just press enter. And, uh... Okay. And this is what happens. She just fucking goes crazy. More, more damage. It just kind of, it's just showing you as an example right now. So when that bar runs out... It goes away. It's basically like a low health save me ability. There we go. Is that, I'm pretty sure I didn't have that low of health before. There you go. It's it's now more clock mechanics. Anything over here? Nope. And that has to do- oh shit, I didn't actually show you. I'll show you that another, another time. Her eyes are like blood red. I actually have like a picture of it on my, my Steam, um, my Steam screenshots thing. I took it a long time ago when I was first playing this game. But, oh my god, it's the fucking creepiest thing. Uh, shit, why didn't I show you guys? Okay, I'm sure I'll get it at some other point. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll try and get low health just for you guys. When, 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 you, when you see me get low health, just know that it was completely intentional. I wanted to show you. So I was telling you here, you have to shoot the pepper grinder at the thing which is going to tell me in tutorial mode how to do it and so it's telling you about this thing you have to shoot it a bunch and it activates that and it's on forever so you don't have to even worry about it it's kind of just letting you know I recall leaving you in a decrepit condition, but what? not in pieces. Oh, it's you. What's happened here? You've lost your hat, and some parts are missing. Missing indeed, though things being what they are. I barely miss their missing. As to what's happened, you should know that better than I. It's your place after all. I know my place. When did you ever know your place? 
or how to keep it. Now, what's going on? Ah, that's going on! And round and up and down into my ears and through my eyes, up my nostrils, down my gullet, and riding in my cap! Papa was exceedingly fond of trains. I don't like them much. You won't like this one at all. Nothing like when Mock Turtle was in charge of the looking last line. This railroad's a bloody shambles. The stink is ferocious, light, blinding, the noise, hellacious. Ah, quite, Tata. I get the idea. A bad train. The world is upside down, Alice. Inmates run the asylum. No, thanks. And worst of all, I've left tealess. Tragic. If I do help, will you help me in return? Cross my heart, if I had one. Find my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. Be on your way now, that's a good girl. <laughs> Best way out is through the crock face. Okay, I think they kind of overdid the bloom in this area. Like, I'm not kidding. I think I lost the teeth that I was supposed to get over here because I activated my bomb thing. Oh well. Happens. Actually, I didn't know there was a cutscene there. I forgot. That's actually what happened. All right, let's see. Uh, this is... Use the bomb. Use the bomb again. Umbrella. Okay. It's gonna... We have to be prepared for rain. So, oh yes, they're teaching you something new. And so... Uh, the, uh, you can give up your clockwork ability if you... Uh, or whatever that clock bomb thing, if you just place something on it, like right here. And it, it's timed, so you have to like, you have to be quick. And then, you know, I'll just detonate it myself. And we're done. It uses the mechanics a lot more in, in when it gets, when the game gets more difficult. Uh, press E while focused to block, and if you, you can you can deflect things. Oops! I probably should have dodged that. So you go like it's just, it's just like pretty simple stuff. And he's he's kind of bad. Yeah, he kind of does these attacks. It's mo mostly, it's easiest to kind of just, uh... What the hell? He kind of, like, switch shifted towards me. I just might as well attack him with this thing. I don't know about you, but I kind of don't want to be near him. And he's kind of pooping out his shit. Whoops. Oh, I thought I pressed shift. My bad. I pressed caps lock, actually. <laughs> hey, I wonder if I won't suck at the game this time. Let's see. It's gonna be a fucking miracle. Alright. Here's his little projectile attack. He's in Super Saiyan mode 3, so he's uh... He's uh... He, does, he fires three projectiles when he's in rage like this. I could probably just like not... You missed him. Like, I, I prefer to stay away from him. There you go. One of his heads are down. You can't, it's kind of risking it. And there you go, we, we reflect all the projectiles back. Oh, right, he, he dodges like that. Forgot about that. If you, hey, you know what, if you're good at timing shit, this is the game for you. Okay, let me just make sure that he's not attacking. There you go. And there you go, there goes another one of his heads. Ah, 
God damn it, stop blocking that. Alice is surprisingly good at uh, attacking things in her in her own little dream world. I can just kind of keep it up. Oh, doesn't even matter. This is one heavy duty umbrella. I kind of want one. Come on. Oh, there we go. Now he's dead. Alright, choose the direction you want to go and also there's a pig somewhere. I've been hearing I've been hearing it this entire time. Well we'll be sure to go find out where he is in a moment. The pig taunts me. It stirs into my soul. Okay, unfortunately this thing now has to cool down. But actually I don't think I really need to. What do you want this time? Okay. I know we have to go over there. I guess I can make it over to that gear, but I want to find the- Oh, there it is. I feel clever. Not really. As I said, it's- You just need, like, the most basic of listening abilities. Alright, let's just head right straight over there. It's been years now, Alice. Time to put away childish things. I think he's referring to the rabbit. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it wants me to go over that way. Cranking up and down. Uh, I don't think I can actually make it that way. I'd have to sound the horn of Gondor or something. Whatever, let's go Let's go over to the cranking up and down. So it was a little bit of a split path. Damn it, I fired two. Oh shit, it's a teacup ride. I love this. I will have to say that the animations are of low quality in this game. I will say that much. Because occasionally I just see, like, her hand is clipping through shit. I'm like, what? How did nobody see that? Hey, can I go down the rail? Just, just because? No? Alright. Cheshire Cat. The dimensions of this desolate tract are unknown to all but the inhabitants. Oh shit, I have to get it within like a certain amount of time. There we go, we did it. The propaganda is sort of creepy. Now I'm starting to get like flashbacks to Bioshock Infinite. Work is paradise. It's exactly like that Fink guy. An industry thrives on suffering, obsolescence, and ruination. It's made the East End into a privy. Consider a simple farm life in Australia, perhaps. You might liquidate the remains of your inheritance. My inheritance? What the fuck? Oh, wait, actually, let's go up here. Is there any uh, kind of. Whoa, it's just going up and down. I kind of want to see what's up there, because I feel that I should be able to go here. Nope, apparently not. There's an invisible wall. Well, good thing there's no penalty for death. Um, I, you know, I, I thought that that would be the reason to come over here, because it's like, what, I can like jump over here perfectly fine. What would, what's the point in it going up? It's, it's fucking teasing me. Oh, here we go. Alright, game gets a bit more difficult now. I heard you guys like the Crushinator 9000, so... What opens? Oh, that's it? I thought I had to dodge that. I know at some point you do. 
Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> well, let's see what we got. Pretty sure I'm supposed to go over here. So this is the one you're supposed to dodge. That's why it was familiar to me. Oh, there's shit down there. Okay, I'm supposed to do this thing. I know there's shit down there. Oh, we could go down there first. Pretty sure there's a way up. The game would do that to me. Yeah, see? It's a nice game. Good game. And we're almost at 675. Which is our magic number. And 675, Alice stops being insane and uh, goes see a true psychologi uh, psychologi uh, psychiatrist. Bleh. That's that's the real plot here. The, the other guy's a bimbo. Alright, here we go. And blow these up to the smithereens. Hell yeah! Alright, let's do it. And we can get it. Vorpal Blade, thank you. I will I will most definitely upgrade. Hopefully that my mouse cursor will not appear when I'm when I'm not in the game. Yeah, yeah, it's Look, now it's now it's colorful. It's all the colors of the rainbow now. Okay, so this does something. Okay, we want to that do that, but not at the moment actually. So we're gonna just kind of ignore it for the time being. So just in case you wanted to, you can go over here. Um, actually, I think that's exactly what we want to do. And we leave a little bomb guy over here. And hello. You know, speaking about 3D platformers, it's one of my favorite genres, actually. Um, I, I actually one day want to be doing a Mario uh, Galaxy LP for you guys, because I really like that. I have the setup for it. Uh, not, mostly not with my microphone. I couldn't quite play like this, so. Okay, uh, my game froze there for a second and freaked me the fuck out. Because I have a habit of losing footage. Oh shit, I almost died. I, I have a setup for it. I don't. I don't know if that's something you'd be guys inter interested in. Because um, up until now, I've only had um, like the only LP footage I've ever made is PC stuff. So never like console ports are one thing, but this is it would be different, and I, I would enjoy doing that. So it's a game I actually really enjoy. So that'd be the main reason I'd be doing it. Can I make it over there? Oh, well, it's gonna close anyways. Oh wow, I almost fell off of this. I would've wanted this crap anyways. I, I didn't actually know there was a floating platform there. And for some reason, it's not doing that bug thing again, which pissed me off. The bug thing was so annoying. Alright, let's try not dying by this guy. Alright, and let me put this thing down. And also, I'll be more cautious about the doors, because, you know, I, I really like the teeth. Fight the good fight. That's that's the worst. Huh. Oh. I have to kill this guy. Yeah, I'll just keep stunning him until like you know he's ready. It's only one at a time, like these guys. Like when it's. The, the true challenge of this game comes from uh, multiple guys at once. Anyways, uh, is there anything down there? No, I'm guessing not. Well, it's a crushinator. I think for next time we'll we'll uh, 
travel over there and see what the hell is on the other side of the Crushinator 9005. So see you later. Bye.